Hello and welcome again. Today we will talk about RIVM uh, finishing at 23.69. Very actually a uh, nice, very interesting move, 9.22%. The question is, where is it going to head next? And this is a bit tricky question, so let's try to understand it from purely technical uh, point of view. Of course, you can clearly see here two levels. So this was the resist level that was formed. It was pierced, um, let's say, three trading sessions ago, some volatility did collapse and then looks like we want to pierce it higher, although this price action might be just a fall section at the end of the day. And another clear level that we observe here is actually this one. And then you understand what happened. So we exactly stuck in this. We pierced one resist, but we uh, stopped below another resist line. So these two resist lines are quite strong. What might be still happening, we might slide down with this one, uh, technically confirming it, and then we could fall lower. So this is the risk. On this fall lower, there is one uh, support level from this, this one. Let's uh, grow it with green and what we might expect we might expect some volatility from it and if this would be happening then the price target will be all the way it is till this uh, resist line if we continue it so two types of trading here if we stay above this line let's call it line number one so above line number one there's a very high chance once we'll be reaching the green line we will go higher and then the price target would be this line line number two but if we pierce below and we stay lower this one and even worse if we stay lower the green line well this unavoidable descending we will uh, retest moving average 200 again we can even uh, pierce it further so then i would wait uh, for development of candles and overall situation why this is a risk here because if you look at the high seek rsi and i really like this indicator because it can explain a lot of stuff we had a very clear very straight formation of a block and usually after block you have a false bounce this one looks to be not a clear false bounce like we were having here but with some volatility because already you can see uh, the distance between a blue and red lines is increasing meaning it can be spiky a bit so it might be volatile here and if this would be happening it means that we will de de decline but also what might happen this vol volatility could be actually uh, ascending and then uh, yeah we will see it will actually follow also the development of the price so we'll see if it go high the volatility it will be going up if it will be descending then it means that we go down um, and from price point of view it's actually the def definer is that are we going to bounce on top of line one or we are going to bounce below the green line so if we wait a couple of days here technically i would say in the middle of, to the middle of next week and see what pattern is being formed then we can decide what will be the next trade i will definitely if you are going to play above this line line one i would definitely put all stop losses below actually this green line because if this would be confirmed and pierced through there is no way by down from purely technical point of view of course if news kick in it can change the pattern but then this is a non-technical trade if there are news uh, impacting the activity of the of the position that's it for rivn if you like this way of study and technical analysis don't forget to subscribe to our channel press the bell button this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks